another day's here. And we got trucking to do. I forgot to turn the heat on again yesterday before I parked it. It's still cold in here. I see engine's ready to go. My body is definitely adjusted to warmer weather already because it's plus two outside right now. Just two degrees above freezing in Celsius. And I feel cold. Then again, I'm not wearing my big winter jacket. I, could, I have it back there. But it's gonna warm up today, so why bother? We didn't film a video yesterday on Tuesday. Took a little day break there. I try to get new videos out every day, but in all honesty, I do miss one or two here and there. So we'll just grab our coffee and we'll be on our way. Today I actually know what we're doing. Uh, we're gonna be pulling a curtain side trailer or a roll tight as they call them. I don't think it's actually called curtain side. I call it curtain side. It's called roll tights. Because you roll it up tight, I guess. <laughs> I like the trailers. I, I like the idea. I like the idea of not having to tarp and just roll the thing over. But it does get a little tricky, especially in the wind. But eh, so does tarping. Still easier than tarping in my mind. So we're gonna grab one of those trailers. Uh, we gotta load some stuff on it. Bring that up to Arbor. Going back up there again. And we're going to reload right away. So we're going to unload and reload and come back. That would be a big chunk of the day. Big chunk of the day. Not the whole day, I don't think. But... It's bright. Hi there, what can we get for you? Can I get a medium coffee? One cream and a shot of espresso, please? Medium, one cream, a shot of espresso. Do you want to try a uh, Carulo with that today? No, thank you. Alright, that'll be 276. Thank you. And no super duper today. Tempting me with the honey cruller. <laughs> How did I know that's my favorite? That was hard to say no to that. Nope, nope, no honey cruller today. Maybe later, maybe later. I'm trying to stick to just the coffee in the morning. Yeah, we're gonna go hook up to this trailer. Uh and that'll be a lot of the day. I think that's what, what did I say? Two hour drive up north, two hour drive back, plus loading and unloading. It definitely won't be the whole. Well, you never know. Some things get dragged out and take longer than it should. On the debit? Oh, they get Was it 4 30? Oh, wait, sorry, you were paid for. The guy in front of you paid for your order. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm going to go back. No way. Cool. Can I pay for the guy behind me then? Sure, it's 4 30. That's okay. Have a good day. This is gonna be a good day. This is gonna be a really good day. Someone bought me my coffee. Thank you, random anonymous person in front of me in line. Very nice. So that's a uh, something that happens at Tim Hortons up here in Canada. Uh, it's called paying it forward. So when the person in front of you buys your coffee, it depends what kind of day you're having. I mean, if you can afford to, uh, you pay it forward and pay for the people behind you. Unless if they order Thanksgiving dinner, then you think about it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, every once in a while, going through the drive-thru, I get a free coffee. Now you know it's going to be a good day. Here we are. Let's go wake her up. People here already. Oh wow, look at that. I'm usually one of the first ones here. Not not the first, but these guys got their trucks all running already. That's a highway driver there. Where is she? Where is she? 
There she is. Still sleeping. Another day begins. Gotta go find my trailer. We're looking for a roll tight. What number am I looking for again? Let's check my paperwork. Five, four, six. Good thing I checked that. I was gonna start looking for five, six, four. Five, four, six. Roll tight. None of these are roll tight. I don't see any roll tight at all. Oh, wait, here's one. Here's one. Is this it? Just on the left here. Five, four, six. Aha! There she is. That's her. All right, so it's a flatbed. Roll tight. You guys want to see what's inside there? I do. Here, help me open it. Pretty tough spring. Ooh, cold. Okay. The front door. That's oh, a little dark out to see anything. Air in every single tire. Fantastic. This one's got extra mud flaps you gotta look out for. Make sure they're not ripped off. Ones in the back are the most important. Both intact, both in good shape. Now with these roll tight trailers, you're also gonna wanna make sure that these are tight and not left open or loose. You wanna make sure you have all your equipment. So in here, I've already checked, but you're gonna want to make sure you have your tensioner. Uh, I got a load of pallet right away. You gotta make sure you have your tensioner to release the tension at the back here. Up here, there should be a long stick. I haven't pulled this trailer yet, so I gotta figure out where it would be. Yes. Supposed to be a long stick that helps you roll up this back curtain. Every trailer, or some trailers have them in different spots than others. Maybe this one has it in here. I'm gonna pull it out into the open and I'll figure it out there. Just quickly double check these. Mud flap, mud flap. There you go. Alright, so I just gotta open up the tail, but like I was just telling you, I gotta figure out where that big old stick is. I thought it was supposed to be underneath. See, it goes in into the side of this here. Or does it? Well, this one's a little different, is it? No, no, there it is. It's just in there. I'll figure it out. I like a challenge in the morning. See, the other trailer had it in here, and it was very obvious. There's like a right in along the side here. This one is obviously designed a little different. Just to challenge my brain on Wednesday morning. Oh, well, maybe it's in here. We'll loosen these things on both sides. Take them out of there. Take them out of there this whole thing see then we can get in here that was that tensioner bar I was talking about before gotta make sure your trailer has that otherwise you can't release the tension on here okay so the tool I'm looking for it goes right into this thing here and it's a long bar with sort of like a hook handle at the end and it spins it so you can roll this up and put it on top of there I'll find it I'll find it and if I don't, I guess I'll just ask for help. Nothing wrong with asking for help, they say. 
I guess my pride could take a hit. Where is that little bar? I wonder if they keep it up front with all the equipment up at the front of the trailer here. See, it was too dark before where we were parked in the back. Can get the door open again. Maybe it's up here. If it's not here, I'm gonna have to go. Nice, it's a really long bar, so it would be tough to hide it, you know? It's a long skinny bar with a handle at the end. It's all chains I would need. Huh. Well, it's definitely not in here. Okay, okay. I might need to humble myself and go ask a question. And one more look before I go and ask, and look what I found. Hidden away up here. This is what I was talking about. Just undo those. Here. end of this bar here goes into here and you just roll her up Grab this end. that's Brendan he's gonna go and uh, grab another forklift so he can grab it from this side it's got longer forks. Slide it right on in there. I'll tie it down. We'll roll down the curtain and we'll be on our way. Okay. Whoa. That doesn't get any easier, but still not bad so apparently it's just a bunch of old wood we're gonna bring them a bunch of old wood looks like dunnage and stuff a lot of this is all custom cut uh, it's wrapped in this foamy stuff that protects they put this between their product and our trailers just to protect their product from getting scratched when the trailer moves around and stuff specialized cuts in there this is all strapped in nice and tight see what I mean so instead of wasting the wood and just throwing it out, like a lot of places do, it's just how it is, you recycle it and you bring it back there, they can use it again. I'm gonna say two straps for that, two. All right, uh, everything aside. Oh, 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 everything's hooking on everything. If it's got a hook, it's gonna hook. That's my, that's my motto. Okay, so uh, this was supposed to go a lot smoother. We'll grab the hook end over here, okay? And we'll bring it with us over here. And we'll just slide it right through here. It's easier to just pull it through. This is some tough rubber in here. Probably because it's cold. Comes through there. And it hooks on there like that. And you tighten it on the other side. So I just pushed through a little loop like that, just enough for the binder. And I leave the excess strap inside here. You don't want that flailing out in the wind, it'll be safe in there. And suck her up into here. You want it to come through and around like this so that it gets pinched in there, see? That's what keeps it tight, with this here. Then you go get your snipe bar, which I should already have close by me here, but it's the morning time. I'm still getting going here. Up here. This is what I'm talking about. Snipe bar. Okay. 
Okay, bring this to the back. And this will go in there. Gonna do the same one, same thing with the back one here. Roll down this curtain, and off we go. on the bumper. <laughs> That'd go right through someone's windshield. I like how this trailer has the uh, the pressure gauge right in the back. Easy to find, easy to see, but I guess it'll get real dirty there. I don't know. Hi-ho, hi-ho. Off to work I go. All the way up to Arburg again. About a two-hour drive or something. Let's 
see how much snow they have in Arbor. Actually, I am seeing a little bit of snow by the tree line over there. But we'll see how much they have up north still. Just only two hours north of here. amazing how much more snow they have up here eh? just a little ways north I thought it would be less honestly I thought there'd be a lot less you see I unlock it from the bottom of the deck like that push it forward See, with it all folded up to the front here, I can also glide it to the back. It worked this time just pushing on one side. Sometimes you gotta push on both sides, go back and forth and back and forth. But now we got an open deck back here. We take these straps off and unload this stuff. And that's what it looks like from out here. Pretty neat, eh? And there we go, we got her all buttoned back up, loaded up. Look at that tarp job, eh? I'd say that's one of the best tarp jobs I've ever done. That was actually pretty easy. The guys here are really nice. They they helped me roll it back. So you saw me uh rolling it open just on the one side. I got very lucky actually that I could roll it all the way to the front without going to the other side. Usually it jams up. You roll on one side, it'll jam or get stuck. You gotta go to the other side, push that a little bit, get stuck, go to the other side, push that a little bit and get stuck. And you can see that if it were windy coming from behind there, it really would have grabbed it and pushed it all the way to the front, could damage it. So you gotta be really careful in the wind. But uh, this is my second trip now with uh, uh, I keep calling it a curtain side trailer because that's what it is to me, but roll tight is what everyone else seems to be calling it around here. It's a roll tight trailer. It's my second trip, and this one went a lot better than the first one. I mean, not that the first one was bad. You have 10 hours and 58 minutes of remaining drive time. Thank you. That should be enough to get me home. So we're here for an hour. It's about a two hour drive back. It's 11.30, 12.30, 1.30. We should be back between 1.30 and 2 o'clock. So like I said, a big chunk of the day. Not the whole day, but big chunk of the day. Probably have one more quick assignment yet and then it'll be home time. And we're back into southern Manitoba, south of Winnipeg here, where all the snow is gone again. I'm actually still surprised that they got so much snow up there. I really am.
is all ready to be dropped. Trip complete. Let's say five hour round trip, maybe a little less, a little over two hours both ways. Spent an hour there being unloaded and reloaded. And there we go. We're just gonna leave it here in our loaded line. So I'm not too sure what I'm gonna be up to uh, this afternoon yet, but we'll probably make this trip the feature of the vlog. You guys wanna see what I picked up, what it looks like? So you walk in the front door here. Oh. And there we go, you see? And this stuff can't be out in the elements. So can you imagine tarping this? Before we had all these curtain side trailers, uh, we would have to tarp this, definitely, if we had this freight. So all of these corners, stuff like that, stuff like that right there, uh, this big time, this, and this would definitely rip through our tarps in the wind as you're pulling it down the highway. And not only that, the tarps on this equipment might also damage this equipment as well, right? Because it's sometimes it moves around, you'd have to make sure it's very tight or use a lot of rugs and protectors underneath there and cover all the freight and then it, there's ways of doing it, right? It's just a lot more difficult. It's almost like uh, a van trailer, right? It is exactly like a van trailer. <laughs> I really like them, I really do. So they're a really neat idea. Hello friend, it's another Ford. Check this thing out. <laughs> nice. Wow, Skyliner. Just mint. Apparently we have close to a hundred classic and import and exotic beauties coming here in the next month or so as uh, everyone's bringing their cars home. It's so shiny, all you can see is my reflection in it, eh? <laughs> Beautiful. Wouldn't you just love to sit in it? So would I. So would I. I had to quickly include that at the end here. I've got a few more assignments to do. Gotta bring a van trailer into Winnipeg, pick up another one, bring it back here, but I think we filmed enough for today already. Just wanted to show you that car. The definition of fine right there. We do a lot of that kind of stuff, and now that, like I was saying, like spring is coming, it's starting to warm up here, all the snowbirds with their beautiful homes down south are all now coming home for the summer. We're bringing their nice fancy cars up here for them. Four o'clock. Oh, that's it for today. Tuck her in here and we'll see her first thing in the morning.
parked with all our friends. Don't stay up too late, okay? We gotta work in the morning. Crazy kids. You, on the other hand, are looking pretty nice. Nice and shiny. Good, 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 good. Let me get my bag off of here. Get my bag in there. Oh, yes. Whoa, my keys are all tangled up and everything. Oh dear, oh dear. Guess I should turn our lights off. From the Peter to the Chevy. We can pull anything light and heavy. Before I go though, I better not forget to hand in that paperwork from that load I just picked up in Winnipeg. Throw it in the slot here. Okay, now we can go home. Nice truck. I hauled many of those trailers when I was on flatbed. It's kind of tricky tying them down. I would have done them a little differently than that driver did, but some drivers got some uh, different techniques. I just noticed I got a chip in the bottom right of my windshield over there. Oh, come on, I just put a new windshield in here, I thought. When did that happen? You guys see it over there? If not, good. Forget I said anything. Can't believe that. 